Hey guys, good morning. I'm making this uh, video for YouTube to show you where the uh, Butterfly Valve for the IMRC is located. Uh, this is a 2000 F-150 4.2 liter V6. Anyway, I noticed I was getting bad gas mileage for the last couple weeks. And then I finally got a code thrown up, hooked up my Bluetooth OBD2 sensor, uh, which I can link to in the description. And it gave me an error code of P1518. 1518. So I did some googling on that uh, to find out that it had to do with the IMRC. I didn't know where the hell that was, so I had to look it up. Uh, pictures weren't very helpful, so I'm going to show you exactly where it's located on my truck. I was I was searching around for it. Uh, you, you're going to need a flashlight for this and to actually climb in there quite a bit because it's at the back of the engine. So shown here is the bushing with the attached control rod that, as you can see, is hanging down. It's supposed to be connected to the butterfly valve on the right with the bushing. So. I bought a pack uh, from O'Reilly. They're about $5 a pack, and they come in a pack of five. I got the part number from another fine YouTuber. 47099 at O'Reilly, about five bucks for five pieces. And so we just got to connect that butterfly control rod back uh, into the connector with one of these bushings. Through the wonder and magic of my daughter's uh, mirror, I was able to find where the other bushing resides. As you can see, it looks pretty beat up. Uh, that's the one I'm gonna have to replace and then find a way to reconnect that rod. So here's the Bluetooth OBD2 sensor that I was telling you about. This is a great deal. I got it for about $12.99 on Amazon.com. It can work with a free app called Torque Lite on uh, Android devices, such as tablets and phones. And it'll work for most modern vehicles to tell you what fault codes indicate. Now here's what I wanted to avoid. This is an intake manifold that's been torn apart, completely disassembled, and take a lot more time and a lot more skill than I had. It'll give you a better view of the IMRC motor, though. Here's another close-up. Now, the key here is that when you're reconnecting the control rods, you're going to want to rotate that motor with a screwdriver however you can so it's completely vertical. I spent hours, it took longer than I had to, uh, but once I aligned it vertically, it snapped in very easily. And then here's another couple of tricks I used. I tied a piece of string to the control rod so when I invariably dropped it, I'd be able to fish it back out no problem. And then I used a piece of masking tape <clears throat> to get the bushing back into the tight, tight spots. So, you know, I could only fit one finger back there. Uh, so the tape helped with that. A little video of me firing it up after reconnecting the IMCR. Here's my uh, Bluetooth or OBD2 Bluetooth connector. Half expecting it to blow up. That's my baby. 185,000 miles. Check engine lights on. It could, they say it's, it'll go away by its own, but I'm just gonna reset it here with uh, via the torque app. Already, I can tell a difference in the idle. It's a lot quieter. Before, it looks like a, you know the butterfly valve wasn't able to open or close properly. I'm not sure which, but it was idling high. Fuel mileage was in the dump. So now I feel better about it. Hopefully, that control rod stays in, and uh, that fault won't come back thanks for watching hope it helps please like and uh, share if you need